What's going on guys? This is Amal from Tech Leather Craft. I was actually perusing the Reddit forums on the Leatherman Reddit and uh, someone had asked a question about making something for a leather sheath and I actually asked them about it and uh, it got me to thinking and I think this is what they wanted so the video is kind of for them but just to throw it out there to other people to see if they're interested. Uh, so they asked about the option of taking the original Leatherman sheath. Now there's multiple styles. This is kind of the the cheaper model. Uh, that came with my my wingman. Uh, it does not have the belt loops on the side here. I mean the elastic loops, and it doesn't have the option to store the bit kit. But uh, a lot of them do. A lot of the the newer ones, especially the ones that come with the wave, uh, that one does have the option. So uh, they wanted to basically uh, take a belt loop style sheath or any sheath they had. I guess theirs is I think a, a leather leatherman box, which is like a a leather case uh, but they wanted the, the idea of being able to put a clip on here without modifying the sheath and so this is what uh, I kind of asked them about it and it got me thinking now if you've been uh, on my YouTube channel if you've been to my website you know I make these this is for the wave and uh, this is just my simple design uh, it's just completely leather there's no uh, fabric or whatever in it other than the stitching and I offer this with a belt loop version, or I offer this, and this is mine, with a belt clip. And I actually prefer belt clips so you can take them on and off, or you can put them on, like, sweatpants or whatever, running running pants. And I didn't actually, I was playing with modding and adding a little elastic loop here for the driver, for example, or, you know, a flashlight or a fire steel. Um, so on mine, I did mo make that modification. I might add that option to the website also to be able to add a little elastic loop. But uh, the original or the fancier Leatherman sheath does also have the the elastic loops here and that inside slot. And so I can see why people would want to carry the, the original and not, you know, mess with uh, buying an aftermarket or a third party sheath. Even though mine are completely leather, they're very durable. But um, so I was uh, looking at what the person I posted and uh, what came to me was this idea. Now, uh, this is my first prototype. I've been messing with it. I'm not saying this is the finished design, but it's basically a belt clip. So it's my it's my belt clip that I normally use. This is just some black. And the idea is you unsnap it, you get your Leatherman sheath. It actually, uh, this is a new sheath, so I actually don't use it for my, for my wingman. But you flip that in. And I have two snaps. Now, there's a hole here, and I'll explain that in a little bit uh, in case you don't like the snap idea. So you add two snaps, and basically, now you have an option to, you know, carry it in a belt clip style. And so just to show you, this is a, made for a one and a half inch belt. This is the piece of leather I have, but this is one and a half inches, kind of the standard belt. This is a little bit thinner than most belts, but you get the idea. So you would just slip that on. And then, you know, you could have it on your belt, basically, like that. And what it does do, another thing it does, and this depends on your sheath a little bit, but I noticed that this belt loop, for example, is like mid-sheath. And so if you have, you know, a little bit of a belly or love handles, and you have this clipped to your belt or looped under your belt, sometimes it's kind of hard to, you know, if you have a little belly, to, to get access to the sheath. And so the one thing that this does do is it actually uh, drops, you know, it raises it. So it drops it on your on your waist. So you could probably access it a little bit easier also. And I was thinking this could also be used. It doesn't have to be used on a Leatherman sheath necessarily. You could use it on any, like if you had an axe uh, sheath or a fixed blade knife that had... Uh, you know, a loop. And you know, this, this size could be modified right now. I was just kind of playing with it. This is one and a half inches wide, which is a standard belt. And then I made it one and a quarter inch. I made it to fit roughly one and a quarter inch. With the idea being that it would also fit uh, the knife sheath, uh, the Leatherman sheath that I offer. So you could also mod it that way. And so when it's on your belt, uh, all you really see is this little side here. Uh, if, I, if I don't modify this, I, I didn't want to make it too long, so. But yeah, then now you have a belt clip option, and then you can take it off. You know, and you can switch to a different sheath or whatever. Uh, one thing, so I'll show, one thing that came up for me is, you know, some people don't like these Line 20 snaps. Uh, 
to me they're very durable if, you, if you've seen my my website or my videos i make these smartwatch cuffs this is just a simple thing that i have for home but uh i do make a cuff version and that this snaps onto and then you can remove it to charge and i have not yet had, had anyone complain that their watch has fallen off the the cuff i'll, I'll post a a picture or a link or something to the to that but like these have not come off and the watch has never fallen off so these should be pretty sturdy but i, I got to thinking uh what happens if someone doesn't want these snaps and so since this is a prototype i just kind of bunched it all together onto one ideally it would either probably be either snaps or we could do what's called a chicago screw and so i'll show you that really quick and that's what this is And the way this is designed is it's um, it's made for leather, I think. And uh, so for this example, the idea is you would have probably one. You probably just need one in the middle. Um, so it would be either snaps or one Chicago screw in the middle. I mean, I guess I guess the third option is to have snaps and like kind of how this is, but it looks very busy to me. But uh, I, I guess someone might want that too. But um, so anyway, the idea is you you would put the Chicago screw into the hole, and uh, you know, you put that in here. You stick that then here, and right now I have to snap these because the way it's designed. But if it was just the Chicago screw, you wouldn't have to worry about it, and so you would then just, you know, tighten this on, and that would hold the two pieces of leather together. You do have to kind of hold this. So it doesn't uh, spin too much. Hopefully I got that on there. I can't tell. But anyway. Uh, and so that would hold it on there um, more permanently. And then when you were ready to switch out from the clip. You could just unscrew it. Uh, and right now even with, you know, if you have the snaps. Let me see. Like if these came off. Like it's not going to unsnap because the, the Chicago screw is holding it on, right? So... So anyway, that was the two kind of closure mechanisms I was thinking, either doing snaps or doing a Chicago screw. Um, but then you always have it on you. And you don't have to worry about losing it. I personally, uh, like I said, I've never had an issue with the snaps you know, coming off when they don't need to. So I would probably, just for the quick, quick change of it, quick access kind of, I would probably just stick with doing the snaps, personally for my own. But I don't go crawling, you know, go crawling through crawl spaces or... Or you know, underground or whatever. So um, I could see though if someone was doing like construction or or uh, more strenuous things where you're kind of crawling on the ground, um, why you might want a Chicago screw. But in that case, you might just want to stick with having a belt loop rather than the clip anyway. But anyway, I just wanted to have a, show you guys this idea. I'm wondering what you guys think. Maybe it's maybe it's <laughs> maybe it's a dumb idea. So I don't know. Let, let me know what you think. So this is the way I've designed it right now. It is um, got a heavy duty rivet here holding the clip in and then these rivets kind of prevent it from the clip from swaying. I could also do stitching here, which is what I normally do. You got to throw some stitches there. Uh, these rivets do all right though. So anyway, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you think this would be something that would be useful. I don't know how many people want to convert their belt loop sheets into, into belt clip, but uh, here's one potential option. All right, thanks for watching. If you're interested in tech, leathercraft, and EDC stuff, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And uh, you can check out my videos, check out my website for uh, you know, the sheets I have or my, or my watch cuffs, whatever. All right, take care.